Originals, Jose Altuve, very nice. Hey there, y'all. Bunkle here. Hope you've been having a great day. Hope every day is a blessed day for you and y'all. So I got here this box. These are 2017 Diamond Kings. Sweet box. 35 cards per box. Ted Williams. Ooh. Now, I opened one of these recently, and there's lots and lots of great cards that could be found in these. Uh, all sorts of different short prints and numbered cards. You see they got all that tiny writing there that says you might get one card every, like, 54 million packs or something like that. Anyway, outside of the cards that you could possibly potentially find every 54 trillion packs, there's, of course, the Aaron Judge rookie and the Cody Bellinger rookie, okay? I forgot, I forgot to mention him last time, okay? But, but both Judge and Bellinger both have a rookie card in this set, maybe possibly in this box. So let's see what's in here. I think this is going to be a fun box. I definitely love the, the art, the artsy feel of Diamond Kings. It's it's just a really good look, even all the way back when uh, when they were being done just as regular, uh, you know, in pack insert cards. The art and then the feel of the cards, all of that, it was absolutely phenomenal. Something that you look forward to getting in your packs of cards. That's for sure. I mean, yeah, they were always great players, or yeah, they should have always been great players, but not always, but mostly great players. From those particular times. Now they do all sorts of like classic vintage players and all sorts of other stuff. You might find a Lou Gehrig or a Babe Ruth or or who knows what else. So lots of cool stuff could be in here. We'll see. Now I see there's a bunch of packs. So it's a stack of packs and a box of rocks. Okay, we got seven packs. Okay, now there's five cards per pack that means. Okay, yeah, you see it says it right there. So I'm going to keep that box on the side because... I learned from another shipper, another seller, that keeping those boxes for, like, mailing, it's actually pretty cool. Uh, you can you can get a bunch of stuff in there, but I got a bunch of cardboard boxes also, but that could be for some other stuff. Anyway, I got some frappers here, good to go. I got some top loadies here, good to go. Let's get open in some cards and see what we find. I think we're going to find some great stuff, some all-time greats, as well as some, some new modern greats and some rookies and some cards and more cards and other cards and maybe a short print or two or one of one or a, who knows. We'll see. All right, what do we got here? We're starting off with Goose Goslin with the Washington Senators, like all the way, all the way back in prehistory. I should probably put them up on the wall, but no, I'm saving the wall for space. Got Ted Lyons, Chicago is he Cubbies or White Sox way back when. I, I think he's Cubbies. All right, we're seeing a Daniel Murphy. Ooh, now that's nice. That's a nice framed card. Look at that. Very nice framey card. I'll frapper that up. That's different. Okay, we got one of the Aurora cards, Paul Goldschmidt. And a rookie, Renato Nunez. Not the rookie we'd be looking for, but he's a rookie anyway. Now, I don't know if he ever did anything with himself. Well, maybe he did do something with himself, but we can't talk about that. I don't know if he's still in the major leagues. How about we'll say it that way? Okay. So I'll put the Aurora card into a Frapper. Awesome looking art cards. I mean, no denying that. And Dale, this Daniel Murphy, great looking card. The framing, the border, the gray border around it. Very, very cool card. Yeah, sure, I wish it was a better player, but, you know, I, I'll still take a nicely framed card, that's for sure. Again, to me, the art behind these cards, awesome. All right, got pack number two going here. Now, if there's any cards that I pull in here that you might want for your PC, okay, let me know, either in the comments or shoot me off an email, and I'm sure we could work out a trade. Got Larry Doby. Donnie Baseball. All right, Don Mattingly. That's a nice one. Moose Scalron. Originals. Jose Altuve. Very nice. That's a nice one. And Chris Sale. That's uh, DD number five. Why would it be DD if it's the originals? Or is it DO? Maybe that's DO. D Originals. 
Donruss Originals. Diamond King Originals. Yeah, yeah. And then Chris Sale. Now, that's a phenomenal looking card. Look at that. He's throwing it into the never. Very cool stuff. All right, let's get the Altuve. Frap it up. And the Donnie Baseball frapper up. All-time great there. Should be Hall of Fame. All right. Pack number three going here. Drum roll, please. Brrr. Yeah, I, I can't bang on a drum and open a pack at the same time. I don't have those kind of skills. I mean, I kind of need two hands to open the pack. And maybe I could bang on the drum with my feet. But it's probably not the same feel. I don't know. Maybe it is. We've got Jake Arietta starting us off. Now, Jackie Robinson, that's a sweet hit. Short print or not short print or whatever, that's a great card. Always great finding a Jackie Robinson in your pack. That's great. Got Carl Ferrillo. Heritage Collection. Eddie Murray. Very nice. Look at that. All shiny and gold and all of that cool stuff. That's nice. Heritage Collection. Awesome card there. Now, of course, these are Panini, and they don't have license to Major League Baseball, so they can't show, like, logos or team names or anything like that on their cards. So that's one of the sucky things about these. Because, you know, it would be great to see him in the, in the Baltimore uniform. But, nope, they can't do that. One of those things, they could still make baseball cards, but they don't have the license, so they can't use the teams and, and that kind of stuff. Come on, seriously? But whatever. Whatever. It comes down to dollars. It comes down to dollars. And it comes down to who has the, the main licensing and getting on with them. And I, it, that kind of messes things up a bit. Got Justin Verlander. Nice. I'll frapper him, I think. Lloyd Wayner. Long time back in the day. Pittsburgh Pirate. Ooh, what's that? That's the Ted Williams collection. That's very nice. Very, very nice there. Oh, he's frapper up Ted Williams also. Now, who that? That's Scherzer. Very nice. Got a Mad Max card. Awesome stuff there. And Luke Weaver. Very cool card. Let's frapper that up. Oh, I got to take a second. I, I don't have my phone on, my phone on silent, and it's buzzing here. Sorry about that, y'all. Had to step away for a quick second. You know, Daddy's little girl, Bunkle's little girl here was was bringing bringing Bunkle some food. You know, it, it, that, that's a nice thing. My my little little girl, she she definitely a good cook. I, I absolutely appreciate that. All right, so as I was saying, we got Luke Weaver, and as as far as kids, I will say, and I've said it before to. To all of y'all that got little ones out there, don't blink. It goes real quick. My little, little girl is in her mid-20s right now, so she's not so little, little. And time flies faster than you know it. All right, we got Ted Williams collection card. So, nice wall of fame so far. And we're about halfway through, a little bit more than halfway through. We just opened the fourth pack because I think I got three packs left, right? Yep, I got three packs left. So, we just got past the halfway point of this box. And we got a whole wall of stuff. So, and you know, some of these, I left them over here, but they're Hall of Famers also. So, how wild is it you could just leave Hall of Famers, like, in a, in a side pile? All right, what do we got here? We got Ryan Brown. Got Paul Wayner. Long, long time ago, 100 plus year ago with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Mad Bum. Great pitcher for a couple of years, but that's it. Manny Machado, nice. Very cool. That's a nice one. And that, that's one of the originals, Diamond Kings originals. And Carlos Gonzalez. So still no judgy rookie, still no belly rookie, but lots of great stuff. I mean, I'm not going to complain about getting the Jackie Robinson and the Ted Williams and the Eddie Murray, that's for sure. Ain't no complaints here. I got another one. This is going to be pack number six. Seeing Cole Hamels. Ty Cobb. All right, that's sweet. Chippa Jones. Sweet. Oh, nice. One of my favorite all-time players also, Rod Carew. I mean, 
definitely a great all-time hitter. And Stan Musial, very nice. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's above card 100 are what they call the short print cards. So I got to go back through that stack over there and see if those are any because they have like an alternate picture of the ones from 1 to 100, I think it is. And then they have like alternate ones after that. So, so that's number number 24, number 94. So I think it's 1 for 100 are the regular standard print and then over 100 are the, the limited edition print. So always cool to find that out. I was looking on TCB, TCDB, tradingcarddatabase.com about that. 34, number 99, getting up there close. Now 107, that might be one of them. I'll keep that on the side. 57, number 7, number 2, 23, 72, 104. Okay, so I'm going to keep those on the side to take a look at those later. But those might be what they call short print. Because anything over 100, they, they did a different special print or something like that. I think it's over 100. Anyway, I'll find that out later. I won't bore you with the details until it's time to bore you with the details. All right, so we got pack number seven here. And at this point, I want to say thanks, y'all, for watching, commenting, subscribing, thumbs up, and all of that great stuff. If you haven't subscribed yet, I definitely would appreciate that you did. Got Harry Walker. Bill Dickey. Now, we saw Bill Dickey before, didn't we? I thought so. In the first, yeah, we sure did. We saw him in the first pack. Got Freddie Freeman. Nice. Oh, Joe DiMaggio. That's pretty cool. Memorable moment. Joe DiMaggio card. 56 game hitting streak. That's cool. And then wrapping up with Hunter Renfro. So very, very cool there. That's for sure. Another rookie card. That's going to go into a frapper. And then we got the Joe D. Awesome. Finally, Joe DiMaggio, Jackie Robbins, and Ty Cobb. I mean, some of the all-time greats in artsy form. And some of the modern greats like Freddie Freeman and Justin Verlander, also in artsy form. So that's nice. Now, is this one of those ones that were over 100? Let me see. Nope, that's number 52. So that's a standard base Freddie Freeman. Still good finding it, that's for sure. Anyway, hope y'all enjoyed. I definitely had fun ripping this. Even though I didn't find the Judge, I didn't find the Bellinger, I found lots of great other stuff. Absolutely. Anyway, y'all take care. Stay well. Stay blessed. Bunkle out.